Next, we want to quickly move on to the annual Julia Developer Survey, which I will start playing in a Hello, second. Hello, I'm Andrew Claster with Julia Computing. This is the presentation of the 2022 User and Developer Survey. This is the fourth annual survey we have conducted. This year, we interviewed 1,162 respondents July 7th to 18th. The survey was administered in three languages, English, Japanese, and Spanish. In previous years, and we hope in future years, we intend to include Chinese again as well. You can see the actual question wording of each question just under the black line at the top of the screen. Which of the following languages have you used regularly or frequently during the past year? As we would expect, number one is Julia at 85%, followed by Python at 67%, Bash Shell, PowerShell at 42%. Which of the following languages have you used regularly or frequently during the past year? And which do you plan to use regularly or frequently during the next year? 92% of respondents say they plan to use Julia regularly or frequently during the next year, an increase compared with the percentage who say they've used Julia regularly or frequently during the past year. Users and developers plan to use Python less Bash Shell, PowerShell less, as well as several other languages less. 75% say Julia is one of my favorite languages. An additional 17% say they like Julia, for a total of 92% who say that they Julia is one of their favorite languages or they like Julia. Python has continued its decline over the past four years. The most popular technical features of Julia are number one, speed and performance, number two, ease of use, number three, open source code is available and can be modified, package manager, multiple dispatch, solves the two language problem. The most popular non-technical features are it's free, the community of developers is talented and active, the community of developers is warm and welcoming. The biggest technical problems with Julia are, number one, packages aren't as mature or as well-maintained as I need. Number two, it takes too long to generate the first plot. Number three, cannot generate self-contained binaries or libraries such as .exe, .dll, etc. Slow compile times, require packages, libraries, or tools that are only available or are more complete in another language, doesn't have all the packages I need, etc. The biggest non-technical problems with Julia are related to adoption. My colleagues, company, or collaborators use other languages. There are not enough Julia users in my field or industry. There are not enough Julia users in general, etc. Thinking about the tasks for which you use Julia, if you weren't using Julia for these tasks, what programming language would you be using? Number one is Python at 77%, followed by C++, R, MATLAB, and C. Reasons for choosing Julia. Number one, Julia seems like the language of the future. Elegance of Julia, faster for the work I am doing. Julia solves the two language problem. I like learning new languages. Where do you interact with the Julia community? GitHub, Discourse, Slack, Stack Overflow, and Twitter are the top responses. Which of the following best describe your use of Julia? Largest share say they use Julia for research, followed by hobby programming, and use Julia for work individually. Which of the following types of Julia packages have you created? Top response is private and not registered in a private registry. Which of the following types of Julia packages have you contributed to, including documentation or filing issues, but not created? Top response is open source and registered in the Julia General Registry. When did you first start using Julia? Most started using Julia in the last four years. What percentage of the programming work you do is in Julia? Most respondents do at least 20% of their programming work in Julia. Most popular packages are plots, data frames, benchmark tools, Pluto, differential equations. How robust is the current Julia package ecosystem? 56% say somewhat robust, 73% say either very or somewhat robust. 
Which editors or IDEs do you use frequently? I've seen a significant increase in the percentage saying VS Code, followed by Jupyter and Pluto. Which cloud solutions, if any, do you use together with Julia? The largest share say none, followed by local cluster and AWS. How helpful and collaborative is the Julia community? 56% say very. 85% say either very or somewhat helpful and collaborative. Offering JuliaCon online for the past three years has dramatically increased the share of respondents who are able to participate in JuliaCon. How did you download or install the Julia version you use most frequently? Nearly three quarters say binaries from julialang.org, followed by Linux distribution, Julia up, compiled Julia from source. With which operating systems do you use Julia? Top response is Linux x86, followed by Windows, Mac OS, which are growing. Which hardware accelerators, if any, do you use together with Julia? 42% do not use hardware accelerators. That's down from 50% or more in the past three years. The largest share of respondents use NVIDIA GPUs. What resources have you found most useful when learning Julia for the first time or when learning how to do something in Julia? Number one, Julia Manual, followed by YouTube tutorials, JuliaCon presentations, Julia books, and Julia Academy. Which of the following do you use as part of your work? Number one, data science, which has increased over the past three years, modeling and simulation, statistics, machine learning, visualization, optimization. Which of the following best describes you, academic or professional? Users were also invited to select both. We've seen a significant increase in the percentage who say professional, as well as a decline in the percentage who say academic. Among academics, the largest number of users are graduate or postgraduate students or researchers, followed by faculty, research scientists. Among professionals, the vast majority say engineer or developer. Many also say researcher, analyst, or manager. What is the primary industry in which you work? Among professionals, number one is software IT followed by engineering, finance, consulting, life sciences, and healthcare. Among academics, the primary field of study or research for the largest number is computer science, followed by mathematics, physics, and biology. What type of improvements to Julia would make you more likely to recommend Julia to other people? Number one is reduced startup time. How many years of coding experience do you have? Most Julia users and developers have 15 years coding experience or less. The age of most respondents is between 23 and 40. We're seeing growth in the share who are age 36 plus. What is the country or region where you currently live or work? United States is number one but the Julia community is becoming more diverse beyond the United States as the share based, uh, based in the US is declining. The biggest increases we've seen since last year are Japan and India. We see a decline in China, but we believe that is uh, largely due to the fact that the survey this year was not offered in Chinese. We hope to rectify that next year and in future years. What is the country or region where you are originally from? Again, US is number one, but the share who are from the US is down compared with last year. India and Japan, again, show the biggest growth. More than 84 countries and regions are listed below. Again, we believe the decline in China is due to the fact that we did not offer the survey in Chinese this year. Respondents are fluent in 58 languages. Number one is English, at just over 90%, followed by German, French, and Spanish. Japanese and Hindi showed an increase consistent with the increase 
uh, in the percentage saying Japan and India in the previous questions, Chinese showed a decline. Most respondents are white or Asian, similar to previous years. 87% identify as men, 3% as women, similar to previous years. 5% identify as LGBTQ, similar to previous years. 31% identify as underrepresented in science or computing. 10% due to age. If you have any questions, please contact me, andrew.claster at juliacomputing.com. Thank you.